Hi, this is Wendy Kessler, your Close to My Heart consultant. And today I want to show you how I organize my cardstock. So I have them in these 12 by 12 plastic file folders. And then on the front, I have all the cardstocks with the name written on there. And Close to My Heart now has double sided cardstock. So I've got the front side with the name and then a little strip of the back side as well. Then on the inside of this, I have each one tabbed with the name of that color on the top, and then this folder with 12 by 12 cardstock in the front, and a pocket for scraps in the back. This goes down six inches. So to make this, you need close to my heart envelope. This is 12 by 12. It holds, well, holds 12 by 12 paper. And I'll show you a couple ways to do it and then how I do it. So what you do is I always open this up so I can, so it doesn't flip back on me. And you could leave the flap on it. And then we use 12 by 6 page, or flip flaps and they come in a package of 12 like this. They are a pocket and they're used to expand your scrapbook pages. And then there's an adhesive, an adhesive strip on the top. Now what you can do is if you want to keep the envelope as is, you can just slide this right in here like so. Make sure that it has your pocket so you have it on the right side and then just remove that strip and stick it in there like that. And then you could put your scraps in there and your 12 by 12 paper in front of it and close it. Now how I did it was I took and cut off the top of this strap or the envelope here. Okay, so that part comes off and then I have my file folder here. Then I take my flip flap and I fold this over, give it a good crease so it works easily for me. Slide it into my envelope and again make sure that I have the pocket on the inside and then just lay it down. Take this adhesive strip off and I kind of, because I made that crease, it just butts right up against the envelope there and press it down. And these will stay very well. When I first tried this, I really tested it. I put paper in here. I shook it up. And that adhesive is heavy duty. It's not going to go anywhere. So then we have our paper. And how I made my tabs for the top was I cut a two and a half inch piece. And then I have the uh, tab punch board. And I use that to make the little tab on top. And then I just trimmed it to the size I wanted. So I cut it. So it just went down about two inches. Just needs to be far enough so you can um, adhere it inside your envelope. And then I cut off a little extra there. Then I will write the name of my paper on there, which this happens to be Pebble. And then add some adhesive to it and stick it in there. Now, here's a little trick if you want them to be spaced perfectly. So what I did was I did the end one, then the middle one, and then stuck this one in between. So then this one goes here, this one, it's going to go right there, and then I'm going to stick this right so I can kind of line it up and get it in between these two. So then we have our folder that we can store our cardstock in, and we can put our scrap in this pocket right here. You can see how far that goes down, just like that, and then our larger scraps and our 12 by 12 paper 
will go right in the front. Slide in just like that. And then there you have it. And I keep mine by color family. And it's all perfectly organized, nice and pretty. Lots of fun. I hope you've enjoyed this video and you get all your supplies organized and um, have lots of fun using up that paper.